Hello students, welcome back to the next part of molecular inheritance. So in this part we will uh, see about the RNA world and properties of genetic materials, right. We will compare the DNA and the RNA, okay. So let us move on. So first we will see about the RNA world, okay. So you know that a cell which contain the nucleic acid. So if we compare both the nucleic acid like the DNA and the RNA, if we compare the quantity of DNA and RNA, you will find that the quantity of RNA is very, very much higher than the quantity of DNA, right? Because there are various types of RNA which are performing various jobs, right? various functions they are performing. So definitely the quantity of RNA is going to be higher than the quantity of DNA, right? They said that the oil, the high quantity of RNA content is mainly due to variety of roles played by the RNA. Okay, so so if uh, you know that we have DNA, right, and this DNA is located inside the nucleus, right? So DNA is inside the nucleus, and the DNA is the source for different RNA, right? So there are basically there are different types of RNA actually. So you already know you might have known about the mRNA. Then we have another you know, tRNA. It's also something called rRNA. And then there are micro RNAs, there are small interfering RNA, and there are various types of RNA. Therefore, the quantity of RNA is very much higher than the quantity of DNA. Right? So there were two scientists named uh, Frankel Conrad and Maxine Frank Singer. So as it's given in the picture, okay, and they were the first to demonstrate that the RNA is the genetic material in some viruses, which are RNA containing viruses and we know those viruses are classified as retroviruses, right? So there are viruses which possess RNA and which do the job of genetic material, right? So it's TMV here. So they were able to separate the RNA from the protein of TMV and they noticed that these RNA were actually working as the genetic material of TMV, right? Tobacco mosaic virus. Then in 80s, right? So those were 1957, and this was 80s and 80s. So there were people who uh, believed that RNA was the first stage of molecular evolution, right? And first RNA came, and they believe that after RNA, the DNA came out. And RNA was capable of doing various kinds of job, jobs, right? So those guys were who uh, proposed that was Leslie. Orgel and Francis Crick, you already know, you know, the Watson Crick, the same Crick. Okay, so Francis Crick, then Carl Woos, okay, the guy who gave classifications. Okay, so they suggested that the definitely, okay, RNA was the first stage of evolution of life and from the RNA only DNA came out, right? So they have a strong feeling that RNA was the first evolved molecule and later from the RNA, DNA might have evolved. Okay, okay. Then in 1886, so this proposal was in 1980s, right? So these were 80s. Then in 1880, in eight, sorry, in 1986, okay, the Walter Gilbert, Walter Gilbert uh, was the first guy, okay, so who hypothesized that RNA as the first genetic material on Earth, and it's quite possible, right? Because you know, RNA is quite simpler form than when we compare with DNA, right? So DNA needs much more material, much more substances to be created, it's, as you know, that it's a double standard, well, RNA is a single strand, right? So, the first genetic material which evolved in Earth was definitely the RNA, okay? And there is now sufficient amount of evidences which suggest that RNA is capable of doing, performing various kinds of functions, right? They are performing, are involved in metabolism, okay? they are involved in translation, okay? And they are involved in splicing, okay? We'll see about that one by one. Okay, so there are very much evidences which suggest that the RNA was the molecule that evolved first earlier than DNA. Okay, and after RNA, DNA get evolved. Okay. Okay, now, so RNA has the ability to act as both genetic material and catalyst. In catalyst, you already know that increases the rate of reaction, right? So those are known as catalyst. So RNA behaves 
as a genetic material it also behaves as a catalyst for example the formation of peptide bonds are catalyzed by rna right rna are involved in creating peptide bonds for example right so those rna which are involved in catalytic process those were named as ribozymes okay so remember that ribozymes are those rna molecules which perform the catalytic functions okay so rna are actually ribozymes are actually rna ribozyme when you say they are actually rna okay they are rna and they are able to do catalysis when you say catalysis they can do metal they can do anabolic process they can also perform catabolic process okay such functions they can perform okay since they are able to do catalytic jobs so they are highly reactive right they are reactive okay and they are less stable or we can say that they are unstable right so you know that rna is performing or they are capable of doing the reactions okay so they have a catalytic property and those enzymes which have catalytic property i told you that they are known as ribozyme enzyme you already know right is ribozyme okay and they are since they are reactive so they are unstable okay so since they are reactive they are unstable so the nature needs a material a genetic material which can be more stable than rna right so therefore rna was little bit modified okay and from rna dna was born okay so rna was modified so rna was modified right rna was modified to create the dna so first evolved is rna first evolved was rna and then rna was modified to make the dna right so now you know see that most of the organisms most of the organisms i won't say that all the organisms because there are retroviruses also and you already know that they, they, we have coronavirus nowadays which we are having a problem with them and these coronavirus also have RNA as a genetic material. So, so most of the organisms have DNA as a genetic material, and reason is that they are much much more stable than the RNA, right? And you know that DNA is a double-stranded molecule, right? And they follow complementary base pairing, as we saw in last uh, video class. So they are a double-stranded molecule which follows the complementary base pairing, right? And therefore, the changing, right, will be the or or the altering the sequences will be a bit difficult for example if we compare like if we compare that this rna like a u g c a u g c then c then a u g c just just assume that this is an rna molecule right with the 5 prime and 3 prime okay so even though our rna molecule is much common yeah okay and dna nam irudhi ide dna vandadana epdi irukona C, A, T, G, C, and E, T, G, C. Now, on the 12 letters use one, right? And complementarily, one there. E, A, C, G, E, A, C, G, and G, E, C, G. Okay. So, again, 5 prime and 3 prime, then 3 prime and 5 prime. Yeah. Okay, so in the issue, and if you want to change one, yeah, if one of the one of whatever nucleotide a if you want to change one nucleotide, you also have to change the subsequent nucleotide, right? Because they are double strand, so it will be very difficult, right? But if you want to change a single nucleotide in the RNA, RNA whatever nucleotide a will be possible, so yeah, because this is not having any attachment with any other nucleotides the base pairing on the rna la kadaya the dna base pairing irukkaradunala complementary base pairing irukkaradunala it will be harder to undergo changes seriya so they resist changes so the reason is that they resist changes because of they have double standard layer they are two standard layer they are two standard and since the two strands also fall forms or follows complementary base pairing and you know that gnc can hold the moon moon hydrogen bond or co and a cutting and the hydrogen bonds are all yeah so now when the bonds are break panano break panana pirike muni right so it's not so easy chaliya easy kadaya adilla but if you compare the rna it was quite easy because they don't have any bonding there's no no other strand layer double strand a single strand layer so this is a single strand nya which come as a single strand and dna is a double strand 
understand irukku and base pairing irukku these two factors makes dna more stable okay let's move on okay then 2006 okay two scientists they suggested that rna has other other functions also right they are also act as a regulator right some rna molecule functions as gene regulators by binding to dna and affects gene expression okay some viruses use rna as a genetic material you already know that yeah and andrew fire and craig mello yeah this is, this is mello and this is fire okay and they in 2006 uh, received nobel prize okay and you know that they received nobel prize for identifying si rna si rna avanga find pannanga and si rna is a small interfering rna small interfering interfering RNA okay and the method they developed was called RNAi okay which is known as RNA interference okay okay so RNA interference we will study later okay so so they suggested that RNA was capable right? RNA was capable to control or regulate the expression of different genes okay So they say the RNA is an active ingredient in the chemistry of life. Okay, so it's an active ingredient. That's very much important factor. Okay, very much important molecule that's is essential for running the life. Okay, and, and we agree with that, right? 